It's Kyle here, and um, we are currently talking about um, basically if we could go back to school and kind of like study any subject we wanted to, and like you know if we got like basically a grant to support any of that, you know, money was an option, uh, that type of idea. Basically, what would we pick to uh, study and um, pursue? Basically, uh, for me, this is a fairly easy choice. Um, as anybody watches the show knows, I am really into history. I'm very much a history nerd. And actually, when I was going to college, um, I came down to two major choices. And the one I went with was political science. Uh, but the other one I was debating with um, was history. Um, that was always my favorite subject. Uh, in the end, what was kind of the tiebreaker is uh, obviously the most common career for somebody that has a history major is to become a, uh, a teacher and I knew from experience from like tutoring my friends and stuff that being a history teacher was not for me uh, probably because history's always came really easy to me I could just remember historical facts just find it very interesting and when I try to tutor my friends and stuff I just would become very frustrated that one they didn't remember this stuff as quickly as me and then I was confused that they didn't find it as interesting I just didn't I don't I'm not right wired right to be uh, to get a teacher uh, uh, my personality is all wrong I, I'd get frustrated too easily and stuff like that um, but at the time I, I mean thought well my dream job if I knew I could get this job um, I probably would have went into history and that's you know basically becoming almost like a historian where you're either attached to a museum or you become one of these historians that basically specialize in a certain field um, let's just say like the Roman Empire or something like that, and you become the expert on the Roman Empire. So you spend your career writing books about that subject and going to museums and, um, you know, digs um, at historical sites, um, stuff like that. So, you know, if I would, if going to college I knew like, oh, I can major in history and um, I can get a guaranteed job at a museum that I'll find interesting, there's a chance I would have went into history, but there's there's not a ton of those um, um, positions available in the world. And also, um, the thing that limits it a little bit more too is um, I have deep roots. The area I live in, my family's lived here for a long time, and this area just feels like home. I've never really had had much of a desire to live somewhere else. You know, I kind of like living in this section of Georgia. So I've never really had a desire to live, you know, in New York or. Um, Chicago or even um, you know somewhere around the world in like Europe for example I've always kind of wanted to live here and also that that limits uh, the job opportunities as well um, but to answer your question that would that would be what I would love to do you know if somebody um, got some sort of grant go back get a history degree doctorate all that type of stuff and then like a guaranteed position at a museum and a subject a historic subject that I would find interesting that would be um, a dream um, position for me so that's the answer for me. Uh, that, like I said, this was an easy one for me since I'm a huge history nerd. So, hope you enjoyed this. Um, sorry I'm a couple of days uh, late posting. I uh, got super busy at this week. At <laughs> sorry, I'm so tired of having a hard time thinking. I got super busy at work this week unexpectedly. Um, this was supposed to be a little bit of an easier week. Then we had a couple of things come at the last second that really uh, changed up my schedule a little bit. So, um, uh, couple days late, so apologize about that, but I got it up. Um, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.